Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. This one's going to be about the basics of Photoshop. I'm going to be showing you how to do a little bit of everything. And I'm going to keep it real simple for you so you can learn and get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do to make a new document is go up to File, New. You can change the title of it. I'm going to name it Tutorial. And then you could change the width and height. I'm just going to make this pixels. Those other ones are if you're making things that are measured, but I'm not. I'm just going to go with 1280 by 720, which is a YouTube thumbnail size. Resolution, I'm going to turn that to 100. And I'm going to leave everything else the same and hit OK. Now that you got your blank canvas, you're ready to start. And let's start out by looking at the different tools. I'll show you the main ones that I use. Uh, the move tool, which you can move your image or your layer, which I will show you that. You have the lasso tool. I use this one a lot. You use it to crop things out, which I can show you as well. Brush tool, I use that. Spot healing, I use that quite a bit. I have a video on it. Uh, basically, it looks to see what's around it and it like copies it and puts it wherever you highlight. It's kind of hard to explain, but you get the point. And I use the text tool, which is pretty obvious. You could type text and then this zoom. Those are the main ones I use. Also the rectangle tool. So let's start out by clicking the text tool, which is a T. Moving your mouse over to anywhere on the canvas and left click. And you'll see this line is flashing. That means you're ready to start typing. So type whatever you want. I'm gonna type Canva creates and hit that check mark when you're done. As you can see, the text is off centered and we definitely wanna fix that. So what we're going to do, make sure the layer is selected. We're gonna go over to the marquee tool up here. There's different options. We're gonna go with the rectangular marquee tool, left click on it. And then just old left click from the top left and drag it all the way to the bottom right and then let go. And you can see it's selected around the whole canvas. Now you want to click the move tool and up here you can see there's different alignments. We're going to cl click the middle of this one and this one to center it up completely. And that's all you got to do. Now we're going to make the text look a little bit better. So we're going to double click on the layer. Go over to color overlay and you can change the color. You can double click on the color or just one click and then you can drag it anywhere to choose the color you want. Say you want green, go over to green. It's a little too bright, so let's darken it. Looks good, but I want to do red, favorite color, maroon actually. And you could change how dark and how bright. We're going to do this and just hit OK. And then there's outer glow, which is pretty self-explanatory. It just adds a glow around your text so you can go up here to blend mode i'm going to choose normal opacity i want that to be a hundred and i'm going to change the color by clicking that color box and right now it's yellow by default so i'm going to go up to red and it's 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 all right but it really depends on the project for this one i'm probably not going to use it i'm just going to uncheck that box because i do not want the outer glow you could see drop shadow right here. Check that box. You could change the opacity to 100 and you can make it closer to the text or farther away. The spread and the size, it's, yeah, not very good if you do that. But that's all you really wanna do with the, the shadow. I like it better closer up like that. That's all right. Uh, I can add stroke, so click stroke the box check it then you can change the color i'm going to change it to white and it looks pretty good so just hit okay i think that's good for now hit okay again and this is what you got so far the background is pretty bland so let's change that go over to the background layer double click on it hit okay so you can unlock it double click on it again go over to gradient overlay Actually, I need to unselect the outline. So if you just want to hit OK real quick, 
and hit control D, it'll deselect whatever is selected. Okay, so double click on your layer. Go down to the gradient. And if you click in the box, you could change the color. But first we're gonna start out by hitting cancel and going here to style. This is where you could change what kind of like gradient it is. I'm gonna go with radial, like a circle, and then I'm going to click reverse. So it's like a spotlight almost. I'm going to turn the scale up. And you could change the angle like this to make it better, bigger, instead of like a small little spotlight. Like that looks pretty good. So let's change the color. Click the box. I'm going to make it maroon to. I'll hit OK. I'm going to change it from maroon to. Let's see. See my different options. There's black, white, bright red, darker red. I think that looks pretty good. So I'm just going to hit OK and OK and then OK again. And this is what we got. It looks pretty good. Right now, I'm going to show you how to use the lasso tool. It's one of my favorite tools. There's different ways to use it. So go over to your toolbar. You can see the lasso tool right here. You can right click on it to see the other options. We're going to do just regular lasso tool. And what you can do is you can draw around anything. So let's draw hold left click and just drag it. And we're just going to cut it straight through the A and then let go wherever and it'll do that. So then once you hit delete, it removes whatever layer it's selected. So right, it was selected on the background layer. So it just shows you what's in the back. Let's just say you didn't want to cut out the background and you want to go back. You can go up to either edit step backward, which is alt control Z, or you can go up here to the history button and you can go back however far you want all the way from the beginning to the very end. So let's go back after that lasso tool. So we want to cut out the text. So let's click on Canva creates, which is the text layer and hit delete again. Oh, because you have to rasterize the layer first. So right click on the layer and find the rasterize. Click it. And now when you hit delete, you can get rid of it. And then if you want to deselect, hit control D and there you go. It's gone. Cut straight through it. Now there's polygonal lasso tool, which is if you left click, it's more precise. You could just keep left clicking until you get a perfect shape. You could do the same thing. We're going to go back here and go back to where we were. That's basically what the lasso tool does. Let's say we want to put a square around our text. You want to go over to the rectangle tool or actually we'll make a rectangle. Click the rectangle. You can go anywhere. I'm going to go right here. Hold left click and drag until I filled up the text. Let go and you can see it's all black. You know, we don't want that. That's because the layer is in front of the text layer. So if you Hold left click and drag it down one. It'll be below it. As you can see, it's really dark. So if we want it to kind of be see-through, you could just click the layer of the rectangle and go up to the opacity. You could turn it down however much you want. And there you go. It's not as harsh, you know. So that's basically the shape tool. You can do it with all the other kind of shapes too. But we're not going to do that right now. Now we're going to start working with a real picture. So you just got to go up to file place and you can find the project that you want to import. So I'm going to go down and it's right here. Double click on it. And then if you hit the X or whatever, it'll just completely take it out of your project. But if you hit the check mark, it'll bring it in. And that's what we want. I'm going to show you how to edit pictures and make them look nicer. So let's just delete our layers. I'm going to delete the cam it creates and the rectangle. You could leave yours, but I'm going to delete them so I can show you how to make the picture look nice. And I'm also going to delete the background. You can see there's a little bit up here showing, but I want the picture to be bigger. So all you got to do is go up to edit, free transform, and you could either just drag it anywhere. But if you want it to stay like this, just hold shift and size it up however you want. I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger and then hit the check mark. So there builds it all up. And that's what we want from here. You want to go up to image adjustments, 
but these are all grayed out. You're probably wondering what you gotta do. You just gotta go over to your layer, right click on it, rasterize it. So now when we go up to edit adjustments, you can see that all the options are available now. I'm gonna click brightness and contrast. You can turn it up. You don't wanna do that because it's overexposed. So we're gonna just turn it up a little bit and turn the contrast up a little bit to balance it. So you can see it's a little lit up, contrast and everything, but that's not, we're not done yet. Go back up to image, adjustments, vibrance. So here you can turn up the vibrance and the saturation, make the colors really pop. But you don't want to do it too much because then it just looks really bad. So I think that'll be good for now. Now we're going to go up to filter, sharpen, and sharpen. So you can see the trees more sharp and it looks pretty good. There's many things you could do with this. If you want to blur it, go back to filter, blur, I use box blur. You can see it's really blurry, but if you want to turn that down, you could either type in like the number you want, five, one, or you could use this wheel thing. Not a wheel, what am I saying? Uh, this little scroll. I don't know what, I don't know what I'm talking about right now, but you know, this thing right here. Get it to where you want it. I'm gonna bring it down to two and hit okay. So that's how you blur it. And that's really, that's really it. So let's export it now. All you want to do is go up to file, save as, whatever, PSD is where you can edit the file. So if you want to come back to it later, leave it as PSD. But for YouTube, we're going to do PNG and just hit save, leave these. And it should be wherever you saved it. And that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.